Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really exciting video. We're going to be refurbishing this PS3 and giving it away to one of you. To enter for this giveaway, you'll need to click the link in the video description. It'll lead you to a page where you provide some information so we know how to contact the winner, along with some steps to get your entries for the chance to win. Unfortunately, right now though, we can only do this contest in the United States and as long as you're over 18. And remember, you don't have to like, comment, or subscribe to enter, but it's always appreciated. And lastly, I wanted to point out, I will never ask for money for a giveaway. Um, so just be careful, there may be people that may try to scam you. All right, let's dive in. So first I'm gonna start by disassembling the console. And a lot of this is gonna be sped up. I was really shooting to hit a 15 minute long video. Wow, this thing is disgusting. Thankfully though, I don't see any bugs. This should be pretty easy to clean up. Every time I take one of these apart, I'm really impressed with what Sony did in 2006. I grew up with the Xbox 360. It was a really simple console. It was cheaper. I never thought that, you know, the price for the PS3 was justified until later on in life when I started taking these apart. Sony was just really ahead of their time with the internal development of this console. It's really impressive. If you decide to refurbish your PS3, just make sure it's a good idea to order the thermal pads for all of the different components on the motherboard. As you can see, these ones are really brittle and uh, needed to be replaced pretty bad. It's also a good idea to get a good thermal paste. In this case, I would be using the MX6. Um, MX4 also works really well.
And here in a second, I'm gonna be putting five dots of thermal paste on the RSX chip. And the reason why I do that is I wanna make sure that each one of the individual chips under the IHS has plenty of coverage in thermal paste. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching and supporting my hobby. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And if you have any video ideas, make sure to comment those below.